even today justified as easily one of the best TV shows ever made. So for fans of the series, here are 20 things you probably didn't know about the show, like the story behind the original Raylan Givens and the deadly day of filming that nearly cost Timothy Oliphant his life. So let's get started. So back in the early stages of production, Justified was originally going by the working title of Lawman, which was always intended to be the official name of the show. However, before it could premiere, Steven Seagal indirectly put an end to the idea upon announcing his new reality TV show entitled Steven Seagal Lawman. And so Justified creator Graham Yost decided that a new name was needed in order to avoid confusion and he eventually settled on Justified, drawing inspiration from a line of dialogue used in the pilot episode. So it's a pretty widely known fact that Justified is based on a novella called Fire in the Hole by Elmore Leonard, which was originally published back in 2001. However, the character of Raylan Givens actually existed long before that, making his debut as a character in Leonard's 1993 novel Pronto, before appearing again in his 1995 novel Riding the Rap. So there are many reasons why Justified was so successful, but perhaps one of the most integral was the unforgettable performance of Timothy Oliphant as Raylan Givens, with Elmore Leonard claiming that the actor was the very embodiment of the character from his books. However, years later, the actor revealed that his big secret for getting into character was to simply pretend that he was Sam Elliott in any given scene, which was apparently a really helpful trick for him. That was until season six, when Sam Elliott actually got cast in the show, at which point Timothy came clean to the famous actor, concerned that viewers would suddenly make the connection upon seeing them in a scene together. So it's hard to believe now, but Walton Goggins, who plays fan favorite character Boyd Crowder, actually had major reservations about joining the cast of Justified. Having been born in Alabama and raised in Georgia, Goggins initially turned down the role of Boyd, concerned that his character would perpetuate negative stereotypes of Southerners as one-dimensional rednecks and hillbillies. However, his longtime friend, Timothy Oliphant, reassured him that that wouldn't be the case and eventually changed his mind, convincing Goggins to accept the role as a favor. So when test audiences were shown the pilot for Justified, they all loved Goggins as Boyd, which was kind of a problem given that the episode actually killed him off in the closing minutes to stay faithful to Leonard's original story. And so the decision was made to reshoot the ending and allow Boyd to survive so that he could become a recurring character with Walton Goggins reluctantly agreeing to stay on in the role, totally unaware of just how iconic his character would one day become. Despite being nominated for multiple awards, including an Emmy in 2011, Walton Goggins never really received any official accolades for his performance as Boyd. However, weirdly, he'd actually already received an Oscar in 2002 for The Accountant, a little known short film that he co-produced and starred in that went on to take home the Academy Award for Best Live Action Short Film. Another actor who seemed destined to appear in Justified was Nick Searcy, as Graham Yost had already worked with the actor before and always had him in mind whenever he read the character of Art Mullen in Fire in the Hole. His reasoning for the casting was that the actor was from the South and had a really good sense of humor, yet was still believable as an authority figure. So Justified is well known for its excellent writing and the way in which it perfectly captured the tone and sharp dialogue of Elmore Leonard's novels. However, there were often times when the writers would get stuck and question their own work. So to alleviate this, everyone in the writer's room would wear a bracelet that read WWED, which stood for What Would Elmore Do? A question they would ask themselves to solve pretty much any story problem they were facing. Another reason the writing on Justified was so good was because of an unusual policy the writers had on set with the actors. Because regardless of how big or small the role was, actors on set were encouraged to push back against the script and voice any suggestions or changes they might have to improve their characters. At which point the crew would stop filming to discuss it and see if there was any room for improvement in the script. Another secret from the set was how they dealt with alcohol in scenes, given how often the characters on the show had to be seen drinking Kentucky bourbon. So to avoid the actors getting blackout drunk, the props department were forced to pour out whole bottles of top shelf whiskey and replace the alcohol with watered down Diet Coke. But to save wasting the drink, Timothy smuggled the booze off set in mason jars to drink outside of the show, even doing so during a guest appearance on Conan. 
So despite Justified acquiring the rights to adapt Fire in the Hole, which heavily featured the character of Raylan Givens, unfortunately the studio was unable to buy the rights to Leonard's previous Raylan novel, Pronto, which had already been made into a television movie of the same name in 1997. And sadly, this meant that Justified had to avoid using any storylines or characters from Pronto without serious alterations. So even though Timothy Oliphant has become synonymous with Raylan Givens, he was not actually the first actor to portray the character. This is because in the forgettable 1997 movie Pronto, Raylan Givens actually makes an official appearance, played by James Lee Gross, who actually later cameoed in Justified as Wade Messer. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying the video, it'd be great if you could drop it a like as it does help spread it to others, so I'd really appreciate it. But let's get back to the video. Another interesting difference between the source material and the show is how Justified handles the topic of Raylan's father, Arlo Givens. Because at the start of Fire in the Hole, Raylan's father has already passed away years prior due to black lung disease, which is common amongst miners due to long-term exposure to coal dust. However, in the show, Arlo Givens is alive and well, becoming an integral character in the series, essentially acting as a brand new character. So when Justified Season 1 premiered, it wasn't actually a ratings darling, and took some time to get popular through word of mouth. However, the actor Jeremy Davies was a big fan of the show from the start, and asked to be considered for a role in Season 2. And because of this, he was cast as Dickie Bennett, and his subsequent performance earned him an Emmy that year for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series. Now most Western fans will have immediately spotted the movie poster of 1993's Tombstone hung up in Art's office, which makes total sense given the character in question. However, it makes a whole lot less sense by season 6, when Tombstone star Sam Elliott was cast in the show as Avery. But perhaps in an effort to hide the distracting connection, Elliott appears in the show without the iconic moustache that he's often recognised for. So before Justified, Timothy Oliphant also appeared in the equally popular Western TV show Deadwood as Sheriff Seth Bullock. And in reference to that iconic role, many fellow cast members from Deadwood actually cameo in Justified, including Jim Beaver, Garrett Dillahunt, Gerald McRaney, and many more. Another amazing aspect of Justified is its music, especially its theme song, Long Hard Times to Come, by the American bluegrass and hip hop group Gangsta Grass. However, the Justified score was actually composed by Steve Vaccaro, who prior to his role in the show was actually a member of the band Toto, best known for their hit song, Africa. As a cool touch in Justified City Primeval, Raylan's teenage daughter, Willa, is actually played by Timothy's real-life daughter, Vivian, who apparently spent a lot of her first day on set dispelling the badass persona her father had spent years creating, much to her dad's annoyance. But while filming City Primeval, there was actually a really serious life-threatening incident behind the scenes in which two cars crashed straight through the set while the drivers opened fire on each other with machine guns, firing well over 100 rounds in the process. And so, the cast were forced to take cover, and Timothy reportedly pushed a member of the crew to safety, most likely saving her life, and essentially embodying the character of Raylan. So Justified City Primeval is actually based on another book of Leonard's of the same name, published in 1980, which tells the story of a psychotic outlaw called the Oklahoma Wildman, who goes on a chaotic rampage through Detroit. And for a long time, the story had been admired by many famous directors who'd hoped to adapt it into a movie, including Sam Peckinpah and Quentin Tarantino, who was actually the one who gave Timothy the idea of adapting the book into a Justified spin-off while chatting on the set of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But now that the show's finally out, let me know below what do you think of City Primeval? And if you're a fan of Justified, you might also want to check out this video here where I rank every season of the show so far.